Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT Web Comics at Kids Read Comics. We're here today with Anne. How are you doing today, Anne? Fine, thanks. Great to be here. Well, it's wonderful seeing you here as well. Uh, a little tidbit here, I didn't realize that you were you were actually Mrs. Jersey uh, Droids. How are you doing? That, that's amazing. Congratulations on that. In 10 years as well, I hear you too. Yeah, thank you. Now, you know, obviously Jersey is an extremely talented artist. You're an extremely talented artist. You, you know, have you ever, guys ever worked together? on anything. Yes, we work together on mini comics. Uh, we've got a series of dino books that, this is one of them, Dino Love. It's based off of 1950s romance comics, like Jack Kirby kind of stuff. But we tell the story with dinosaurs and there's a few historic tidbits. Um, Rocketosaurus is another one that we've done together and that's a retelling of the Apollo 12 mission and it has an interesting twist that didn't really happen in the real Apollo 12 mission, but in the dino world, it can happen. So we'll leave that out there for people to, to read so they can find out. I won't ask for a spoiler. Okay, no I can't spoil it, but it is available to read online. So Kids read comics. This is a great event. It's, uh, it's a wonderful festival here with an amazing group of people in terms of the art and writing communities. Um, you know, How did you get personally involved with this? I work in a library, so I think my connection with libraries kind of gave Jersey some ideas. He started doing a lot of workshops at libraries, and he realized that there's quite a draw there where there's the interest, and a lot of libraries are carrying graphic novels. So we decided to expand on it, and why not bring a convention or conference-type atmosphere into the library and bring that excitement in and, and just get everybody really excited about comics. Thanks. That's how it happens. I've, it's been a while since I've been in a library, actually, because everything's digital nowadays. You know, you don't, you don't. You can get digital books from libraries too, so you don't even have to leave your home to enjoy your public library. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that's something I didn't realize about. Now, you know, with, with everything, you know, you you have to have that feel of the paper in hand, and you know, the smell of a fresh cut book type deal. Um, and, and it's something that that maybe kids these days don't quite get enough of, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And it's good to see that this event is really bringing kids together, because there's a ton of kids here yeah. just waiting to, to picking up, reading through, and, and enjoying these works. Yeah, it's great to see that. Kids are just running by and reading and picking up things, and they're really excited. It's great to see. So when it comes down to it, though, besides Dino Love and, and not any of your other projects you've worked with, with Jersey on, you know, uh, is there any other projects you have in the future that, you know, you might not have published as of yet that you might want to give a hint to? We do. We've got something that will be coming out later this year. Tiny Hamilton is one of our favorite characters at the moment. Um, he's a, a tiny ham, and he has a lot of friends who are tiny meats, too. He's going to be hitting the road. He's going to be hitting hitting Route 66, and we're going to have him follow all of the sites through 66 state by state. There will be a mini comic for each state, and then it will be collected. So the first edition of that should be coming out at the end of the year for SPX. Wow, that's that's great. <laughs> now, have you been down Route 66 to get these? Uh... I haven't, but I know people who have, and they've told me amazing things about it. So we might start out down part of it just to get an idea for what we want to include, but we've been doing research and asking people who have a lot of experience with Route 66, so it's well, that, really fun. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, you know, who, who doesn't love a traveling me, you know, I down the road? I have a motorcycle, so the tiny ham on a motorcycle, he can't go wrong. You know, for those kids that, that are coming up to this, you know, being a librarian, you're, you're very influential in, you know, suggesting books to, for, for kids that they may like or they may not, but um, what are some of your favorites that, you know, with a kid coming into a library for the first time that you kind of direct them toward? A lot of kids are very excited about Bone, Jeff Smith's Bone. So a lot of kids start with that. And surprisingly, Garfield is still really popular with the kids, which I wouldn't have imagined. And Tintin and Asterix. So a lot of the classics, kids get started on those still, and they're still into the superheroes. So I, I remember those from back in my day yeah. as well. It's so like, not much has changed. It's kind of surprising. Or maybe it's just because the select who are purchasing the books are remembering fondly what we grew up on and so we're pushing that but there's new stuff coming out too that 
that we're pushing. It's like the Babysitter's Club, Raina Telgemeier. Yeah, yeah, that one's very popular too. And she's here. Yes. Yeah. I know, I saw her. <laughs> um, for those that want to get into this this industry, though, the, those that really enjoy reading and writing comments that, that maybe don't know what to to expect, what can you, what wisdom can we partake on? Just jump in and do it. If you're not sure what you're doing, just do something to get started and you'll learn along the way. And listen to Art and Story, too, and other podcasts like your podcast, so you will, will learn from other people who've made mistakes and hopefully not make the same mistakes. It's the old trial and error method, eh? Exactly, yes. And what's, what's the website for some of these works here, especially some of the online content? Tinyastronaut.com. You can find Tiny Hamilton there and our dino books, too. Yeah. Well, it's been a real pleasure speaking to you, and I just want to hope you have a wonderful Kids Read Comics uh, Festival here event, and you know you have a lot of kids coming around here. We'll get out of your way, but thank you so much. Thank for you. Being. Thanks.